episode of LWC Stack. So guys, in today's video, we'll learn how we can uh, create a record using lightning edit form. Okay, so in today's example, we'll be creating a lightning edit form and we'll be storing a account using the lightning edit form. Okay, so guys, let's start today's demo. So first of all, let me just open my default org and to open the default org, you can press Ctrl Shift P and then open default org. Okay, so this is my default org. Here it is. And let me open my application as well. Okay, <clears throat> so this is my application and this is our, these are our previous example which we have already tried using the Lightning Web Components. So guys, for today's example, we'll create a Lightning Web Component first. So I will press Command Shift P and I will select Create Lightning Web Component and let's name it Create record. Um, let's make create account record. Okay. So I'm storing it in the default directory. So this is my default JavaScript part, and this is the default HTML here. And this is the default XML here. So, guys, first of all, as usual, I will just update the XML part to display the component on the Lightning app. Okay, so let me just copy it and paste it here. All right, cool. So I have updated the XML. Now uh, we'll be creating a record form on the HTML page and we'll be doing some coding stuff on the JavaScript. So let me just open them side by side. <clears throat> all right so guys uh, let's create a lightning record form so to create a lightning record form first we will have a lightning card here okay there it is and after that we can create a lightning record form here Now we will add some attribute here. So we will add object API name. So this will be basically the object from which we'll be getting the data. So I will create a variable, or I will create a parameter for that in JavaScript later. Okay. So let's name it here first. Okay, then we have to mention fields here. So we will mention fields here. So for fields also, we'll be having a separate parameter into the JavaScript part. Okay, so here's the field. Okay, so we are having a form now. We are having fields on that form. Now we will create a on success function here uh, just to execute the create button. So On, on success guys you can display error or success message as per the requirement and we'll create the method here so handle success is our method here okay all right so it looks like we are good to go here
So there was a second for the shortcut to arrange the syntax. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Okay. So the design part of the Lightning web form is complete here. Now we will move to the coding part, guys. So this is the default JavaScript uh, you will be getting uh, whenever you will be creating a Lightning web component. As you can see, we have already Im imported LWC here. Okay, now we will import a few more things here. So we will be displaying a successful error message. So we have to import post events also. So we will import. And we'll import it from Lightning. Uh, okay. Yeah, we are having this. Okay, I think it's removed. Okay, so we have imported the show toast event here. All right, now we will import few more things. First of all, we'll be importing the object here. So import. Account object. From, we'll be importing it from Salesforce. This will be your default all guys. Okay, so we have imported account object. Now we'll be importing the fields that needs to be created using the uh, Lightning uh, record form. So we will import. First of all, we'll import, import the name field. Let me just copy it. Let's import few more fields. Let's say phone. Upon dot phone, here it is. And let's import email also. So we'll just import email field. Sorry, I was just searching for the wrong field here. So let's import annual revenue instead. Let's change the name here. So guys, uh, we have imported three fields. We have imported object and we have imported the post events also here. So these were the things uh, which will be required in this uh, JavaScript to create the record, okay? Now let's create a variable here to store the account object. So the variable name is object API name. So we will store object API name here. And in object API name, we will assign the account object. Okay. Now we will have fields also. So let me just copy fields. Here it is. And in fields, we will assign the three fields. So we will have name field. Phone. And revenue here. So we are having data and fields also. Okay. After that, guys, I, uh, I will create the handle uh, event. So let me just copy the event name. So the event name is handle success. Okay. All right. 
So let's create a constant here. Let me just define this one. And let me just put my phone on airplane mode, otherwise, you know, it will just keep ringing. So we create a constant here and we create post event just to display success or error message. Now we will create a new toast event. Here it is. Okay. Now we will have the title here. So let's say a column has been created. successfully okay so this will be the title of the toast message now let me put the message here and message let's display record id okay account created and we can display record id here so we can get the record id using the event dot details dot free id okay and like aura components we are having the same variants here in the lwc also so let me just add the variant here the variant will be success okay let me just have column here all right uh, looks good Now we will dispatch the post event here. So we'll be using dispatch event and we will use the post event here. All right. <clears throat> so this was the web component guys and we are having few errors here let me just clear it up okay let me remove the semicolon what else we are having here okay that was the only error now the next part is to upload this to the default org so let me just hit right click and dip, uh, deploy source to org The component name is create account record okay so once it is deployed we'll be having it on the record detail page and using that record detail page we can test the component okay so the component has been deployed successfully all right now this was the record detail page and let me just edit this page okay let's search for the com component here here it is create account record component okay yeah, here it is. Let's save it and check the output. So this is our component guys, in which uh, we are having lightning record form and using the lightning record form, we can create a record here. So as you can see guys, we are using the lightning record form. So the benefits of lightning record forms are like, we don't have to you know use any custom code here. We don't have to create a custom form. We don't have to create custom validation because when you will be using the lightning record form you will be getting all the default validations from the uh, object itself as you can see uh, in the account name uh, part the account name is required by default okay so let me just try and create one record here so let's create circle account let me just put the number here and let me put annual revenue Okay, let's save this record. All right, we are having an error here. And okay. 
I don't think it is related to this component, but we have to check. Okay, so guys, the component has been saved. As you can see, the component is in edit mode right now. You can just simply edit it and it will be working in this uh, Lightning Way platform. Okay, now let's check the account once in the sales console. So the account name was Kapil account and here it is with the phone number and the revenue inserted using that lightning record form so guys uh, that's how you can use the lightning record form to insert or update data so that's it for today guys and i hope you enjoyed today's video if you like today's video subscribe to this channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching